So this is the video lecture series of embedded system subject. We are going to discuss about the memory mapping or memory map in embedded systems. So if you are seeing EC Electronics channel for the first time, please do subscribe to our channel for subject videos and recruitment updates. And if you want the notes of these videos, please do subscribe to the Telegram channel and follow us on our Instagram page. So let us see about the memory mapping in this video. So first let us see what is actually memory mapping. So memory mapping or memory map can be thought of as a massive table or it is actually a database which is consisting of the information onto which in which address what data is stored in a system okay so we know that uh, in a system there will be various types of memories ram is there rom is there flash is there out of the total memory in what address location what is the data stored or is it a ram or a rom likewise it is a structured arrangement of memory okay so map to that is this memory map is used to show the program and data allocation of the addresses of ROM, RAM, EEPROM, FLASH, etc. So, uh, onto which location of the ROM this particular data is getting stored? What is the starting address? What is the uh, ending address? Likewise, for RAM, for EEPROM, for FLASH, for all these memories, at what address location, what particular data is present? In order to indicate this, we can make use of a memory mapping. Okay. So it is actually the address allocation of various memories. So this uh, memory mapping, it reflects the addresses available to the memory blocks and IO devices. That is how much memory is available, how much memory is consumed. Now what is the remaining memory uh, which can be used for further allocation of data? Uh, this uh, indication is uh, help, that is it is made with the help of the memory map. Okay. It also reflects a description of memory and I.O. devices in the system hardware. It reflects the memory allocation of programs for programs, data, I.O. operations by the locator program. So we all know that the locator is actually uh, the software or the system which is allocating of various addresses. Like, right. So uh, in order to, uh, that is for the locator program, to make the uh, allocation of data to particular addresses, to make this task easy, the memory map can be used. So, this locator will be finding out the address or the memory, free memory available, right? And then, after finding the memory available, it will allocate the new data, right? So, for the locator program to find out the empty spaces in the memory locations, this memory map can be actually made use of, okay? Now, let us see an example of memory mapping. Here you can see that uh, these are the various sections of memory. Uh, there are memory for peripherals, for variables, for user variables, for user code. Then this location is actually for EEPROM and this is actually the code of the system. Okay. So likewise the memory is arranged and also along with that it is uh, given that whether it is a stack or it is a heap, whether it is gro global variables and also you can see that the address locations that is the starting and ending address of every sections of the memory is also uh, indicated in this memory mapping. Okay, so this is an example of memory mapping. So if the locator program is having such a memory map, it will understand that uh, from which location to which location the memory is consumed, from which location to which location the memory is free. Likewise, it can understand the free locations in the memory and it can allocate new programs. Okay, so that is one feature of memory mapping. Next, this is another memory mapping. Again, here also you can see that the address is given uh, for every section, the starting and ending address is given. Which data is stored, that is being indicated and whether it is heap or stack or everything, the nature of the memory is also being ex expressed, right? So, these are the examples of memory mapping tables, okay? Next, next we are going to see a small example of memory mapping, okay? So here the question given is consider a Java embedded card with software for encrypting and deciphering transactions. Assume that the system needs 32 KB ROM, RAM of 4 KB, EEPROM of 512 bytes for uh, storing not only balance amount under the credit or debit but also cryptographic keys and previous transaction records. So here the size of uh, the ROM 
RAM and E prom is given. Okay. So the memory locator or linger script program for the system defines the memory map as follows. Here you can see the origin of various memories are given and the length of the memory is also being given. Now how can you draw the memory map for such a system? Let us see. Here you can see that the origin of RAM is from 0x 10000 and the length is 4k. Okay, again for EE Pro, this is the origin and this is the length. And also same for the case of ROM, the origin and length is specified. Now how can we draw the memory map? Let's see. Here the ROM is starting from 0x000. See here, from 0x000, the ROM is starting. So the first one will be ROM. Up to 32k it has to go. Then next for RAM, it will be 0x1000 up to the given length or the given width. Then EEPROM also the starting address is given and the size is given. So likewise you can arrange the memories. Okay. And also another important thing you can see here is there is gap between these memory allocations. In between this ROM and RAM there is some uh, allocations that is some spaces which are free. Now what is the purpose of giving such spaces is if you want to expand these memories in the future that is if you are if you are expanding the design of the system and if you are going to expand the memory also for that case uh, this spaces that is the gaps is provided okay so the memory spaces or the gaps between the origin of rom ram and epro in spite of very small length memory small length of available memory the gap is due to the design feature of the hardware engineer to provide expansion of these memories in the future okay, even though the total memory is very small there will be actually separations or gaps between various memories okay this uh, gap is actually provided to expand the memories in the future when the design is expanding the memory also has to be expand right so for this purpose for expanding the size of these memories the gaps is provided okay so in this video we have uh, discussed about memory mapping in embedded systems it's actually a very small topic but it is a very uh, easy topic to study also so i'm really hoping that you understood the topic if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching